Ground ball, tough play. Nola's got it. Nola to first. Out! High fly ball, deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Oh my. I don't understand. What is up, YouTube? We have some breaking news as stud third baseman of the Colorado Rockies, not anymore, Nolan Arenado has been traded to the St. Louis Cardinals. This is insane. This was an awesome Friday night. This is the second best thing to Trevor Bauer signing with the Angels. Hope that still happens. But this is just insane. At my boy D-Made, this is going to make his Cardinals so good. It's going to make them so much better. We've been talking about in text, me and my friend, for those of you who don't know, which is all of you, me and my friend, who's a Cardinals fan, um, we've been talking about how the NL Central is kind of weak lately, and it's weak, and these guys are making moves. The Cubs are trading away players. The Pirates are trading away players. The Brewers don't seem like they're trying to get better. The Reds don't seem like they're retaining Trevor Bauer. And, you know, so we're just like, we're talking about why, why aren't his Cardinals doing anything? You know, they made the playoffs last year. They, they have a solid core of players. Why aren't they making any moves? Well, they just made a huge splash that I think definitely sends them to the top of the NL Central and, you know, puts them in a good spot to get to the playoffs. So we will get into all of that. But first off, we got to talk about this trade. So apparently, Ken Rosenthal broke on Twitter that the Cardinals agreed to acquire Nolan Arenado from the Rockies, sources told The Athletic. So the deal is technically still pending approval from the MLB and the Players Union and apparently Nolan Arenado himself as he has a no trade clause. But the Rockies would be sending the Cardinals $50 million if this happens. And Arenado will be deferring money. This is, I don't even know what's going to happen. But it, it seems like it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, I, it's going to happen. And this, the insane part to me is not the fact that the Cardinals are getting, arguably, in my opinion, the best third baseman in baseball. Defensively, offensively, I would want, I love Rendon on the Angels. I think he's super underrated. I think Arenado's the best third baseman in baseball. He's insane. He's on a Hall of Fame trajectory already, and he's had that elite defense at third, and he's never played with a first baseman like the one he's going to be playing with now in St. Louis and Paul Goldschmidt. And so just think about the, the plays he's going to have over to first base and, and batting in a lineup with him. It's going to be insane. It's going to be so awesome to watch. I'm stoked for it. And the craziest part is that me and my friend, the friend I mentioned, were talking about this trade potentially yesterday when Ken Rosenthal said it was in the works. And we were like, man, Nolan Gorman might have to, you know, go over there. Hopefully not Dylan Carlson, maybe Matthew Libertor. And we're just, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully you can keep some of those because as MLB Pipeline just came out recently with the top 100 prospects in baseball, and those were the three from the Cardinals on the list. And um, I believe Dylan Carlson was number 13 on the list. And um, Gorman and Libertor are right next to each other, 37 and 38. Um, respectively so that's really cool to see you know two three guys in the top 50 and they kept all three of them while getting the best third baseman in baseball and also getting 50 million dollars to take a big chunk off his con off of his contract excuse me so basically his contract now is is going to be you know it's going to basically be George Springer it's 6 years 199 million dollars and cutting out 50 that's 149 mil. It's basically, you know, six years, 150, what Springer just got. You're getting George Springer without giving up any of your prospects, but he plays an elite third base, and I believe he's better than Springer. I'm saying value-wise contract. They're getting a Springer contract. This is just insane. I freaking love this move. This is awesome. I'm hyped up for the Cardinals, and I'm hyped up for baseball because I love seeing these big moves. As I said, though, the move is pending some approvals, so we kind of have to see how that stuff comes out. I'm not worried about it, though. I do think it will go through, and I think it will, you know, it'll be fine here. The deal between the Rockies and the Cardinals, if it is finalized, Arnoldo will keep his opt-out after 2021, get an additional opt-out after 2022, and retain his full no-trade clause. So he'll get his contract the way he wants it, but I mean, as the Cardinals, if you're not giving up any of your top 100 prospects, you're okay with that. And you're getting 50 mil off his contract. Even if he decides to use any of those things, you are fine if you are the Cardinals. Obviously, you want him to stay there long, longer than just next year. But if this can just happen and he can play there and see how the team is, you know, if he can just see how St. Louis is with fans, if, you know, we can have some fans at the stadium, you know, safely, then, you know, that, that's something that he could see and he can just see how it is playing with those guys, with Goldschmidt, DeYoung, if they get Colton Wong back. I, that, that infield's insane, but we'll get to that. Um, possible um, players heading back to the Rockies would be left-handed pitcher Austin Gomber, first baseman Luke and Baker, outfielder John Torres, 
and um, return. Might also include right-handed pitcher Jake Woodford or right-handed pitcher Angel Rondon. So, this exact package is not confirmed, but like I said, if you're a Cardinals fan, you are ecstatic. If you're a Rockies fan, you're a little pissed off, and I can see that. Because from a Rockies point of view, I think what you got to realize in this situation, which isn't an easy thing to realize, is that this wasn't a rebuild. We're going to you know, get some top prospects and start over. This was a salary dump. They couldn't afford this. They needed to get rid of this. They were, you know, they're working backwards. They're trying to get, you know, some money off the books. And that's what they had to do to unload the almost $200 million contract. And um, I feel like, yes, we've, we've heard stuff before about Arenado and the Rockies relationship turning rocky. You know, no pun intended. Recently, in the last year or two. So, I get that. But I think this is mainly the money thing, you know. It's mainly a money thing. That's why you see the prospect return you see. And the Cardinals took advantage of that. And, you know, kudos to them. Because they got a great player. They didn't give up a lot. And I'm going to keep saying it because it's insane. Um, like, like I'm talking about here with the, the Rockies. If we think about their lineup that they could have this next year, depending on if they get Colton Wong back or they use Tommy Edmond at second or whatever they decide to do, their lineup could be Tommy Edmond slash Colton Wong, Arenado, Goldschmidt, Dylan Carlson, a, a top 15 prospect that's a, a really good outfielder, switch hitter. If you play MLB The Show, you've used his future star card. He's a beast. Paul DeYoung at short, Dexter Fowler probably still in right, and then hopefully Yachty back at catcher and Harrison Bader in center. And then, you know, you got your pitching staff in that bullpen. It's, it's a, looking to be a very, very good team. I don't want to rain on the parade. I don't think it's necessarily a team that on paper is going to go out and beat the Dodgers or the Padres or the Yankees. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you get to the playoffs, it's, you know, all bets are off. So if this team gets to the playoffs, you don't know what can happen. You know, with the top end of the rotation, with the bullpen being the way it is, and then a lineup like that, you don't know what they could pull off. And another thing, looking at the way their offseason has been, maybe they've been going slow and retaining people or going out and reaching out for people because they've had this in the works. Because in the beginning of the offseason and last year even, there was rumors about them going after Arenado. They've always been a team linked to Arenado as well as the Dodgers from what I've seen. So if that's been true, maybe they knew they were that was their big fish on the table and they were going for Arenado hard until they got him. And you don't know what they'll do now. Maybe they'll go get another little pickup. Maybe they get a Paxton. Maybe they, you know, go after an infant. Fielder. I don't know what they're going to do, but that, that just sets them up so nicely now for 2022 or 2021, excuse me. So this is going to be an awesome season. Pumped up for the Rockies. Huge, huge trade. I really hope it all goes through smoothly and nothing, you know, gets in the way and messes this up because this worked out huge, huge W for the Cardinals and all their fans. Shout out D made again. Just had to put that in there. I, I, I don't know what to say to the Rockies fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this is happening. Um, like I said, if, if you're a Rockies fan, you guys get Nolan Gorman and um, someone else back in that, and, you know, a couple other prospects in that deal, maybe don't feel as bad. If you had Dylan Carlson, probably going, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Libertor, I, I, I don't know. There's there's good moves that could make you feel better about this. And obviously, you didn't get any of the big cats. So, Rockies fans, sad day. No way as a franchise you can get rid of a guy that's on a Hall of Fame trajectory and make your fans okay with it. It's really hard to do that. If we traded Trout and we didn't get any big prospects back and I would, I'd be sad even if we did get big prize we got all three of those guys from the Cardinals but traded trout I'd be sad but you can make some sense of it you can't make any sense of this if we were a Rockies fan your owners just trying to you know cut some payroll shed off some money sorry Colorado but I'm pumped up for St. Louis it's gonna be a good year now we got to look at a little bit of St. Louis like I said in the NL Central these teams are kind of you know pirates aren't going to be in it for a long time Brewers, a little bit of a sleeper. Reds still have a solid lineup and some solid pitching if they don't trade off anybody. But, you know, Cubs as well, trading Darvish, letting Schwarber go, stuff like that. These teams have only taken a step backwards in who they've let go or not gotten. They're not getting better. The Brewers aren't getting better. The Reds and the Cubs have let people go. And the Cardinals now are stepping up. If they get one of Wong or Yachty back or both of them now at this point then they automatically have gotten better they got better because they got Arenado let's make that clear but if they get those two guys back their team's virtually the same and all they did was add Nolan Arenado Hall of Famer future Hall of Famer trajectory we'll just put that out. I'm not saying he's a hands-down Hall of Famer adding him in there that's they got NL Central and my unless barring any injuries and hope that doesn't happen they have the NL Central on lock 
they get to the playoffs, you don't know what can happen. That guy can change the playoff series too. So you don't know what could happen. That's what I've been saying with the Angels. If we could just get there, you don't know what Trout could do in the this, in this playoff series. I know the one game he played or whatever, the couple games he played in 2014, it didn't look that great. But that's that's seven years ago. So we'll see what happens with Arenado. I hope the Cardinals get to the playoffs now and we could see him in the playoffs with a new team you know in that red i want to see him in those baby blue you know um uniforms that would be awesome to see might have to cop me an arenado jersey now i don't know those cardinals jerseys are pretty slick adding an arenado in the back that'd be yeah i don't know guys i'm pumped up i love baseball awesome move made an exciting night i'll catch you guys on the next one peace